Kerp Stop Aholic Anonymous. My name is Tommy, and today I am unboxing and reviewing WWE Series 37 Seth Rollins, the the drop, uh, the dude who is known for his curb stomp, but signature move curb stomp. Why was that banned? If anyone knows, let me know. Hell in a Cell 2014. I was there live. My seat was right next to the stage. Get it? There is no stage. Well, there is kind of. There's the ramp. Is that the stage? Hmm. I don't know. But I was there in person on my TV watching it. There's Seth Rollins. There are the curb stomp things. And there's his Money in the Bank briefcase. You want me to unbox it? Yes, you do. And you want me to review it because that would be uh, a slightly less interesting video. Although I did do a few inbox reviews for my really rare stuff like the John Cena Scooby-Doo two-pack and the Hulk Hogan two-pack, which I already have investors with the Hulk Hogan figure offering me a good chunk of money, maybe 4,000 plus a Maserati. So we'll see how that pans out. So I was a bit disappointed with the previous figure I reviewed, the Mr. Barack Lesnar, but this is Seth Rollins, this is a different guy, and uh, I'll point out the first flaw that people online are going crazy about, and yes, I agree, his legs are way too skinny, look at that. That's like something some one of your friends would post on Facebook, just like, these are the legs of the 50s. These are the legs of today. Beautification. What I mean, like they're too skinny. It looks like someone went crazy with Photoshop and he looks like a Victoria's Secret model. The attire is very nice looking. I remember when the uh, images of this figure first came out, people were all like, Tommy, did you see the picture of the face? It looks horrible. I think this face is actually really good and one of the best Seth Rollins can really see it, especially from that angle, right? Of course, he comes with his golden sun-kissed money in the bank briefcase that he won after stealing it from Dean Ambrose. Of course, there is nothing in there, unfortunately enough. Hey, and check it out. You can get the full 360 right now of Seth Rollins wearing his cool shirt thing, vest, whatever it is, with the belt. I see that they buckle it on the back instead of the sides, which is pretty cool because I always hate those buckles, you know what I'm saying. Do you think Seth Rollins is a dumpster diver? That made no sense. Okay, so let's take off the vest and check out what lies underneath. This is super flexible, plastic, rubber, whatever they made this out of. Rubbery plastic, I don't know what it is, but it's crazy. And here he is with his shirt off. And yes, I'm, I can't get over how skinny those legs are. I thought I could before the video. I thought like, I was kind of like you guys commenting on my videos, like, yo, you're being too harsh and stuff, but those are really thin. He has his tattoo that isn't, I don't understand what it's saying. And it's pretty good. And he comes with like the, the curb stomp concrete block so you can pedigree someone. I'm Seth Rollins and you know the great thing about wrestling dolls and, and wrestling figures and all that jazz is you can recreate your favorite storylines for example. So here was my favorite past storyline. I am gonna curb stomp you Dean Ambrose and then he's just about to do it and oh I'm cashing in my money in the bank fella. What? You can't. Oh, boom. And then Dean Ambrose. Oh, oh, I'm doing that clothesline thing. Oh, I'm coming back. Oh, I missed. One, two, three. Sheamus becomes the world champion of the universe, of course. And he keeps his briefcase because he's, he's Sheamus. It's the greatest wrestling event ever, quote Brad Meltzer. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching my Seth Rollins interview. And as always, Seamus wins.